This is 69 News at Sunrise. And from snow to fertility, conceiving a child is not always easy. Coming up, hear from a fertility expert on what you can do to increase your chances. Lauren, thanks so much. All right, making a baby it can certainly be fun, but can also be very stressful. About one in seven couples can have problems conceiving a child. Yeah, it's an interesting topic to take on, but an important one. Every month, just a short window exists if you are hoping to have children. Joining us this morning to talk about fertility and really get down to the nitty gritty of it is Stephen Bollinger. Stephen, thank you so much for joining us. Really important topic to talk about this morning. Well, thank you, absolutely. Infertility is on the rise, and as we try to have children later on in life, it becomes complicated. So any way we can nudge them, it's good. And you, you know, couples have a very, very small window to get pregnant every month. They do. Actually, timing is so critical. They really, on a female's perspective, they only have a, a, a one-day window, 24 hours. That's it. From a male's perspective, as a couple's perspective, it's three days. So knowing when the female's ovulating is critical. And the nice thing is there are technologies out there like ovulation predictor kit, basal body temperature monitoring that can help you understand that optimal moment. I used uh, those as I was trying to get pregnant with our, our last child. Very helpful um, in the process. And I think, you know, for I started later on in life, a lot of women now and men starting later on in life to have children. So more important than ever, I think, to start thinking about it right away. Absolutely. And it's not just uh, the female anymore. Uh, 30 percent of infertility is male related. The male sperm count has dropped by 30 percent over the last 20 years. So male infertility is absolutely on the rise. So between that, that's why we went from one in 20 couples to today, one in six couples. So we have to do what we can to try to get ready to get conceived. So the woman would be using those ovulation predictor kits, but you have some boxers sitting out here on the desk as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So, so again, uh, it's winter time, you know, hot tub season. But if you're trying to conceive, you want to stay away from those warming cycles. And wearing briefs uh, is probably not the best option. But You're not going to like better. my underwear choice then. <laughs> no, and I ain't changing. <laughs> but one of the most important things that we've come up with today is a new product called the Stork. This technology actually bridges that gap. It's the only technology today that's authorized to market in the aid of conception for over-the-counter. Once a prescription, now over-the-counter, is the stork. It's condom-like collection and tampon-like delivery and removal. So wouldn't it be nice to be able to do that in a privacy of a couple's home to get a closer way of trying to conceive? So this is something that a couple does in the privacy of their home that they do alone. They don't need a physician present in no, order No, absolutely to do not. We've made this as user-friendly as possible. So the stork actually is that wonderful gap that they can do intimately, privately, and now available over the counter. What does it do? So basically it gets the sperm closer to the egg. So that's the most insecretive part of this process is bypassing some of the issues of uh, of um, the, the more powerful part of the female that could uh, damage the sperm, but more importantly, it gets that higher concentration of sperm right where it needs to be. How? So by concentrating it at the tip with the product uh, tip here. So it, the nice thing about this is after the male ejaculates and places it in here, the specimen is in here and places right next to the cervix. So it allows it to maintain there and stay there so the female for the next six hours can do whatever she wants. And then at the end of that, remove it, and now you just nudge the stork. And 80 retails for about eighty dollars, once one one time use. But we were saying in terms of fertility treatments, that's on the low end. It's on the very low end. It's a great opportunity to get the couples to stay intimate and increase their chances of conception. Do you have one point, one important part of advice for for couples who are trying to conceive? Relax, relax. Try to reduce stress. Try to keep the intimacy that they've had, and that's the reason why they're together. Trying to build a family is one of the most critical things. Eating healthy is also important for the male folic acid, prenatals for the female. Stephen getting Bollinger. the info early, yes. early on. Good to know. Thanks, Stephen. Thank you. And do you need Marvin Gaye in the background or Frank Always Sinatra? Helps. Never, a never for negative. The okay, <laughs> just checking. All right, thank you, sir. Thank Appreciate you. it very much. Stephen. We'll be back after this.